Jeez, what's with all the wyverns? So many freaking wyverns in this chapter. Okay, yeah, here's where the four comes into play. I know there's an arc thunder, and, uh, you know, these birds are weak to thunder attacks, but I think Tabarn's gonna be fine. I'll, uh, I'll make sure, though, before I say that for certain. Okay, yeah, I'll just do this. Shift. Galdar, Galdrar, whatever. And we can fly a race in a way. So he's safe, and if we attack him, yeah, it's only gonna do 11 damage, and he can't even hit me anyway, so. That was a pretty use useless endeavor for them. Meanwhile, I'll get these guys out of dodge, because I don't want them to accidentally die. I don't think they can. Okay, nope, I'm fine. Uh, over here now. Let's do some more healing. Whether it's necessary or not. Okay. A part of me wants to take Torneo down here. Oh, I know exactly what I want to do. Hey, jerk. You're a jerk. Wait, can I do this? Good. All right. Mm. Ah. I mean, I'm sure Alencia will be fine, but I wasn't expecting that. Oh well, I'll put him right here to maybe. You know, kind of encourage him to go after Oscar instead of Valencia because he has. He can actually attack Oscar and possibly not die, so. We'll see, though, we'll see, though. I think Valencia will be fine, though, definitely. Valencia's not in really any danger at all. Okay, next, let's. Fight through here. I can't believe we're already at this point already. damage right there. I think we're fine, though. Here's another uh, crossbow. I think, Although, I think this one was in the shop at one point, or the bargain bin. So I don't need to show that off, really, at all. Okay, I think I'm good. Alright, healing. I forgot about that aspect of this battle. I can hate that stupid healing. Okay, and he actually did do that. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Well, I mean, I, I expected it, but, like, I didn't expect he'd follow through with it. Figured he would do something else. There's Tabarn kicking ass as usual. Oh, okay, we do have units over here. Um, well, I don't want to give Tabarn any more kills, but I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, might as well. I don't think I can actually get... Oh, I could get Gotri back over here. Never mind. So, uh, let's see. I think... Hmm. Oh, well, that's fine. See if we can get some more Fenrir kills. Doesn't look like it. Maybe though, maybe. Oh yeah, I can. I can, no problem. Oh 
Oh, dang it, he missed. Ugh, that sucks. I was not expecting that. Okay, Deadeye, please. Let's show Deadeye so we can stop these animations. I mean, we'll see Deadeye before long, because I am taking Wolf with me to the final chapters, so... It's not like we'll miss it or anything, it's just I wish I would see it... ...soon. Go ahead and heal Oscar again, even though he doesn't really need it. I'm getting some good experience with Alencia, though, without her actually killing things. Which, I mean, not a problem if she did anyway, because, again, Alencia's a great unit, but... In the end, I think she's actually more important for the healing, not so much for her sword. Although her sword is also a, a good thing, too, because you can actually, you know, like, punish things a lot easier. Actually, can I... Not quite. Luna! Hooray for Luna. I have to admit, this is probably my favorite chapter of the, uh... Group chapters, I guess you could call them. I don't know, this one is just very easy, very calm. There aren't any major threats, so you can actually take it a little easy while you're doing this. Okay, they're gonna go after Tavarn, which I'm not surprised. I wish they'd go after Gatri, though. He is right there, I don't see why they wouldn't. I guess they kind of see him as more of a threat, but that's not usually how they determine their attacking patterns, so that's kind of weird. Okay, let's move you guys back up and have Gotri take care of that guy by himself. I don't think they can get any farther. Okay, they can't. I think we're all fine over here. Actually, let's do this. Let's have a little fun with Valencia. Stun! Hooray! Took care of that. Now we can actually move forward and start fighting these guys. Which I have no pet at all. Also, I know exactly who I want to get the kill with on the uh, Valtome. It's the person who Valtome actually ticked off the most. You can probably get who I'm talking about just from that description alone. And hooray, we got a soul with a bow, which is nice. Okay, they ain't, can't get through there. Okay, can I kill you? Not quite. Not even with Fermate Rear either, so... It's kinda lame. Kinda having some doubts about moving uh, Danved that far in, but I think he'll be fine. The only dangerous person over here is probably this guy, just because the critical hit is so high. But, 30 damage, yeah, it's only going to do like 15 damage at the very most. So yeah, I think he'll be fine. Well, I can't believe Wolf has so much defense. He's a little kid. He has such high defense, that's kind of weird. But either way, we're closing in on everybody, so this chapter should be over pretty shortly. 
Once again, it's gone on for over an hour, but I'm honestly not that surprised about that either. Oh, there goes the javelin. Okay, can I please? Okay, cool. I can actually kill you. Thank you. He took some damage, but I don't think he'll die. He better not. He has over 34 defense. This guy will definitely do some damage, though. Not too much, though. Also, yeah, keep Alencia safe, because that talk sh weapon, that crossbow unit that's down here, yeah, that weapon will pretty much, like, kill Alencia, like, five times over. Just to give you an idea of how powerful that would be against her. It would be very powerful. She would definitely not survive that. Plus, I imagine it'd be a very high percentage, too, so... Yeah, it's best we keep her away from that as much as possible. Okay. Sure, I'll use a steel bow. Still didn't get Deadeye, though. Just kind of weird. Okay, I am getting a little nervous, like I said. So I don't want to... I don't want these guys to move in too far and risk killing them. Everybody's pretty much at level 5 or 4 right now. Once he at level 7. Okay, I, I don't think any of these guys move, though. That's a thing. Because if these guys move, they'd already move by this point, so... I'm gonna move, just place you guys right here. And hope that nothing happens. What do you guys have? Physics staff and physics staff. Okay. We'll have to take care of them, too. Physics staff, no! I'm gonna have to do some damage here pretty soon. Tornado's actually turning out to be a great unit, too. Okay, let me do this. Okay. Right here. I'm going to heal Donved and Makalov, because I don't want them to die. As you guys are probably already fully aware of that how much I'm freaking out over here. I hit on bed first, because I think uh, Makalov has better HP, or better... Well, he does that. Well, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have better HP, but he does have better defense. I'll just move all the way up here. I still can't get through, or just right behind them. And next turn, we can actually rush in and start clobbering them to death. I forgot to move Gotri over there. Okay, well, I'll do this first. Yeah, because we have to route all the enemies. Like, we'll have to take care of that guy, too. Although that's not, like, an issue at all. Okay, now they're both healed. 
Here's the guy with the talks, or whatever that's pronounced as. Okay, we killed you. I could go ahead and kill Valtome if I really wanted to. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm going to use Alencia because... Valtome was so rude to Alencia early on in the game. If there's one person that deserves to, that deserves to see Valtome squirm, it's Alencia. It really is. So... Before I do that, though, let me, uh, take care of just a few things. Let me, uh, or it'd be better if I attacked you. And I have no idea. Well, for, yeah, first it's important that I take care of this guy. So, yeah, I'll do that first. I will do a lot of damage, but... And I think uh, Valora also poisons whenever it hits, so keep that in mind, too. But yeah, I want to go ahead and do this. Oh, Valtome, you're such a jerk. Take that. That looks like a very scary spell, too. I hope Rolf's okay. He is poisoned, though, just like I said. But now... In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the animations for this, too. Just because I think we really, really deserve to see her fall. Or him fall. Again, whatever the hell he is. It's a freaking nature. Here we go. Take that. And that, and you're dead. She even levels up, too. And there we go. Valtome is defeated. She's crying out Zelgius' name. But it's too late. She's dead. And she will always be dead from now on. Which is how I always want to remember her, too. As a dead person. And now I think we can finish this up. First off, let's kill you. Didn't quite get to level 5, but whatever. First I'll restore Rolf. I think restore, yeah, gives you a little more experience, and then I'll also heal him too. <clears throat> and yeah, unfortunately Peleus couldn't quite get up to level 20, but he has plenty of spells that he can use for the following chapters. And also, he'll get up there eventually before too long, so it's not like it'll take him forever or anything. Let's see, can you actually kill him? You can, but that's a very, very bad... Wait. Okay. I have confidence, though. I have confidence to work. Okay, there. That would have been bad, though, if I missed... 
Peleus would have more than likely have been dead at that point. But yeah, as you can see, he's already starting to max stats. And like, yeah, some of his stats, like, he's very, very close to maxing, so... Yeah, it's, he, he really has great growths, and he actually... Well, he has, he has good base stats. I guess that's the better way of saying it. He definitely has better base stats, which will help him out more in the long run anyway. And let's hope for a Deadeye in our last attack of the battle. Nope, doesn't look like we're gonna get it. Oh well, oh well. So yeah, that's the end of that chapter. Valtome has been defeated. And we're done with the first half of the group chapters. <clears throat> I guess that battle really wore Peleus out. <laughs> okay, that line's pretty hilarious, too. He is quite the mama's boy. <clears throat> and now we're gonna get a little more backstory from uh, Queen Almeida. Interesting. Okay, so you learn a little more about not only Ashnard, but you also learn a little more about uh, just Almeida in general and Peleus and basically what happened between her and Ashnard. It is kind of interesting how in this game, like, whenever you, when you get to this point of the game, like, certain side stories, or, like, stories that, you know, aren't the main focus, but have been, like, you know, mentioned throughout the entire game, they kind of develop a little more. I do like that part of this, uh, part of the game, but again, there's still quite a bit I don't like about it, and I still kind of need to talk about that. Uh, that, that seems more appropriate to talk about near the end of the game, though, like, closer to the end. Obviously, we're close now, but, you know, even closer than that. But yeah, there we go, and that's the end of that chapter, so... This has been Slim Kirby, it's been Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I will see you guys next time for Part 4, Chapter 3 when we return to the first group, so yeah, I'll see you guys then.